Hello friends. Today our topic is galvanic or voltaic cell. The name galvanic or voltaic cell is named after the scientists Luigi Galvani and Alessandro Volta. You must be wondering what this galvanic or voltaic cell actually means. Well, the galvanic or voltaic cells are devices in which chemical reaction takes place to create the electricity. Or you can simply say it is a device which changes the chemical energy into the electrical energy and where this chemical energy is formed due to the chemical reaction. So galvanic or voltaic cells are generally those devices which changes the chemical energy into the electrical energy. Okay, let me give you a very simple example. You all must have seen this, right? You all have used this. This is a battery, okay? So what is this battery? This battery is a very simple and very good example of a galvanic or voltaic cell. Okay? So this device, there occurs chemical reaction in this device and that chemical reaction creates chemical energy. And that chemical energy is used to create the electricity. Fine? So this battery is an example of the galvanic cell. And that's the topic we are talking about. Okay. Let's move forward with the construction of galvanic or voltaic cell. As you know, galvanic or voltaic is the same one and the same thing, okay? So now onwards, I will be using a very single term that is the galvanic cell. So in case of galvanic cell, in its construction, so I'm now showing you the very basic construction of it. It consists of two beakers, okay? In beaker 1, there is a presence of zinc sulfate solution, okay? There is a zinc sulfate solution in it. And in second beaker, there is a copper sulfate solution in it, okay? So, we have two beakers, one containing zinc sulfate, another com containing copper sulfate. In the first beaker, we place a metal rod which is made up of zinc, okay? While in second, we place the other metal rod which is made up of copper. So, there are two metal rods. In zinc sulfate solution, there is a presence of zinc rod. And in copper sulfate solution, there is a presence of copper metal rod. Okay. And both are connected through a single copper wire like this. Okay. Both are connected through a wire. So when the both electrodes are connected through a wire, a chemical reaction takes place, okay? And in that chemical reaction, what happens? Electrons start flowing. Electrons start flowing from, from this, that means left beaker that contains the zinc, from zinc electrode to the right one that contains the copper electrode in copper sulfate solution okay so let me write this this is your copper electrode and this is your zinc electrode okay so this is your zinc electrode this is your copper electrode okay and when both the electrodes are connected through the wire chemical reactions start taking place and that chemical reaction in that chemical reactions electron starts flowing from zinc electrode to the copper electrode. Now you must be wondering wh why? Why is this happening? Why the electrons are flowing from the zinc to the copper, right? And why not the vice versa? Okay, so let me tell you one thing. In case of zinc and in case of the copper, zinc is more reactive than copper. And the metal which is more reactive will lose the electron very fast. So in case of zinc and copper, zinc is very much reactive. So, it loses the electron and copper is much more uh, stronger and less reactive. So, it starts attracting the electrons. And whenever there is a flow of electrons, okay, it results in the formation of charge or you can say the formation of electricity. Okay. So, that's why electricity is generated due to this chemical reaction. Okay. And the current will now start flowing from copper to zinc like this okay so this is our galvanic cell 
contains the two beaker in one beaker there is a presence of zinc electrode in right beaker copper electrode zinc electrode is dissolved in zinc sulfate solution copper electrode is dipped in copper sulfate solution and when the two electrodes are joined together with the help of a copper wire the chemical reaction start taking place and due to which electrons start flowing from left beaker to the right means zinc electrode to the copper electrode and whenever there is a flow of electron the electricity is generated and thus electric current is generated from from copper electrode to zinc electrode okay that means electrons is moving from zinc electrode to the copper electrode and the current is moving from copper electrode to the zinc electrode there is also a very important component present in the galvanic cell which is something like u2 and it is just present between the two beakers which is called as a salt bridge okay this salt bridge is present between these two beakers like this and it plays a very very important role in the galvanic cell in the functioning of the galvanic cell but i'm not going to discuss the function of galvanic cell in this video because i just want to keep everything very simple right now so uh, i think i'm going to discuss the function of salt bridge and the working of the galvanic cell in the next video okay so this is just a simple construction of the galvanic cell in which i have shown you the two beakers and the electrodes and from where the electrons are flowing and from where the copper from where the current is flowing so this is all for the today see you on the other video bye bye